I live for the Lord. I mean, I live to try to make an impact on my, where I can make an impact um, on people's life. Um, and that's my delight, you know, to continue to grow in relationship with the Lord. I look forward to, I can't wait actually, um, for that moment when I trans transition from this life to the next door, for that encounter and that engagement with the Lord God Almighty. Although I say, Lord, not yet. You know. <laughs> um. I live to do God's will. And I, I, that's, I, I try to ensure that I live my life so that I'm disposed. So that's why I enjoy doing the Mass. I mean, I do the Mass every morning. And since COVID, I've added in terms of a public engagement you know, doing the Divine Mercy Chaplet at three and doing evening prayers for the public at, at six in the evening. And it's not a burden. In terms of ministry, I recognize that I have a responsibility to minister. When, I was, um, when we were preparing for the visit of Pope John Paul II, one of the responsibilities that I had was to prepare Deanery 5, so I also visit all the churches in Dinner 5. And one of the church communities that I visited was Belfield Line. And they told me that they had a regular mass, you know, most of the time that um, communion services. So I made a commitment to them and told them I'd come twice a month to do mass for them if the other two Sundays they'd turn up for the communion service by the, with the extraordinary minister. And so, I'd end up doing four masses on a Sunday, twice a month, because of the three St. Benedict's, African Martyrs, Christ the King out in Port Royal, and then end out to Belfield Line in St. Mary for the evening mass. And sometimes I'd be struggling, trying to stay awake, going to the junction. And when I got there, I said to the Lord, Lord, these people, I can't make an excuse and say, look to your people, what is this fourth mass I'm doing? And I said, I'm tired. They are coming to Mass. So this is going to be the first Mass for them. So I ask the Lord to give me the grace and the strength to celebrate that Mass, the fourth for the day, as the first Mass, as it was the first Mass I was doing. And so that is my approach with respect to ministry, pastoral ministry, to recognize that I have a responsibility to truly engage people, um, to recognize their yearning, their needs, and to satisfy it to the best of my ability. As St. Augustine says, you know, we are created by God, we are created for God, and our hearts are restless until it finds rest in God. So my whole purpose for existence is that relationship. You know, my, my, my life has no meaning if it's not in uh, connection with that relationship with the Lord, my God, my Creator, my Savior. You know, so.